Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for April, mid-April, end of April. We're going to see what is going on for you guys. This is for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all, each and every one of you, for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. Um, at least my subscribers out there, thank you all. I appreciate your love and support of my channel. All right, so we're going to jump right in. Y'all know the deal. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. It's general, right? It's just not going to hit home and resonate for every Taurus out there. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. Buy a personal reading there. I have my Oracle decks. I'm actually going to open up with an Oracle deck today for you guys, all right? Um, this is the Epiphany. And um, yeah, it's on my Etsy shop. You can also buy uh, my spiritual jewelry. So check it out. Favorite my shop. Connect with me on Instagram and Facebook if you're interested. Your bonus reading for mid-April is up on Vimeo. So check that out. How does your person feel? What is going on with them? What are they not saying, thinking, feeling, all that, okay? All right, let's get some messages here for Taurus. What's going on? Let's get two or three cards. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we got two cards out here. Deep, dark times in isolation. I need time alone. So there's someone here that you're a distance away from, Taurus. Um, you guys may not be talking at the moment. Okay, I'm getting like someone could be blocked. Someone blocked the other person or someone just not in a mood to talk. Okay, someone could have just ghosted you or decided that, you know what, I need a break. I need time. Maybe you guys are on separation right now or like on some kind of hiatus. All right. But there's definitely someone who feels like they need some time alone to think about something. It could be the energy of going within trying to find the answers. All right. Um, but whoever this is, Taurus, there's definitely a strong um, love connection. There's a there's a story here, right? True love stories never end. So I feel like whoever this is, um, maybe you guys have gone on a break like this before. Maybe this person has ghosted you in a past and they came back. Or maybe they just have a tendency to be very in and out because it looks like there's still a very strong, strong connection here. All right, so let's jump right in, Taurus. If this is y'all reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get one more good shuffle here for Taurus. All right, what is the current mutual energy here between Taurus and whoever they're dealing with for April? All right, Taurus, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the King of Swords, and the Chariot. All right, so we got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys are connecting with a Cancer. There's a situation here with Taurus that both of you guys feel very burdened by. Some of you guys are, there's a cycle here that some of you guys are letting go or closing out, okay, perhaps with an air sign. But I'm also feeling the challenge is that you guys... <laughs> Someone has not been able to communicate or there's been a real need for you guys to communicate in order for something to really move forward and progress, okay? So you could have been dealing with someone who just doesn't openly communicate or it's like pulling teeth to get some information from them, okay? Some of you guys, um, you could be also in this, queen, uh, this King of Swords energy, but some of you guys, I really think that you're dealing with someone like this. Where it's difficult to get some clear-cut answers. Maybe you guys are looking for some kind of communication from this person. You may be looking for truth. That could be the energy but, uh, surrounding the connection. Looking for truth. Looking for clarity on a situation here where there was an ending here. Okay? And trying to move forward. Trying to uh, progress. Take that next step forward. Alright, so let's see what happened in the past. Let's get some more messages here. So in the past, there was definitely some conflict that someone decided to, um, someone walked away from in the past, okay? What I'm seeing is that someone's having a difficult time really truly <laughs> letting go of this connection because there's a lot of feelings here, right? Eight of Cups, there's emotions, the feelings run deep, okay? And it's telling me that if someone has walked away in the past, Taurus, I feel like they come right back. <laughs> but the thing is, is that, 
there's still some conflict or something here that hasn't been resolved and perhaps there's a there's a cycle that keeps repeating um but i do feel like whoever this person is i i do feel like both of you guys were really planting seeds for the future there was definitely an investment here you guys saw potential okay with each other there was an energy of let's work together let's come together let's build let's collaborate okay but there definitely was something here in the past with regard to your person where both of you guys may not have seen eye to eye or there could have been some conflict or challenge here that someone was was difficult someone was having difficult time letting go walking away okay so someone could have been holding a grudge all right and that could be the reason as to why someone needs time in isolation all right but it's definitely affecting someone's emotional well-being and availability in the connection okay all right, let's see what's on your mind, Taurus. What's on your mind, how it relates to this person? Yeah. Ace of Pentacles came out with the Nine of Swords in reverse and a temperance. Some of you guys are done with a Sagittarius. Taurus, that's your energy too. What I'm seeing, Taurus, I, I feel like whoever this person is, um, you've been having a lot of sleepless nights, right? A lot of anxiety, worries about the situation here. And I feel like, you know, you guys know that something happens in divine timing, right? We got the temperance here, patience, timing, moderation. You guys have been incredibly patient with this person. I do feel you guys still want stability. You still want maybe a commitment or a solid offer. The Ace of Pentacles is telling me that whatever you guys have, it's still worth investing in. There's still, there's an energy of you, Taurus, wanting to have a new beginning with this person, wanting you guys to recommit to this connection. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you feel like maybe, maybe time is a, a, taking a step back and giving time or a situation, you know, for time to kind of let things resolve may be necessary, okay? Because I feel like whatever is going on between you guys, it's almost like it's, I'm getting, it's not that big as you guys may seem and time may actually help you guys move past it and overcome this block. Because both of you guys look at this connection as being very promising and having great potential, but maybe you guys aren't really seeing it that way because someone's in a nine of swords energy, and holding on to something from the past as well. The Six of Swords in reverse. All right, let's see. What's in the foundation with Taurus person? What's on their mind, their energy, their feelings? How do they want to move forward? What's up? So first off, ooh, your person, they're not having too much fun without you, right? They're really having a difficult time letting go, moving on. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of wands this is someone who feels shut out by you right now taurus right and even if they shut themselves out they really miss you because they really want to you know reach out with that page of wands it could be a message you could be saying hey taurus um i really miss you i'm thinking about you page of wands can also be like you know it's something it's some kind of message some kind of message to kind of get something up and moving an inspirational type of energy um excitement even with the five of pentacles in verse your person definitely is feeling left out abandoned neglected right they miss you the nine of cups in verse but they're not saying it that's the problem <laughs> They're not really saying it or acting on it right now. So I do feel like your person could be in that isolating energy where they're not really talking, not really speaking, not really telling you how they feel. Um, because they perhaps feel shut out. The sun in reverse, they could be feeling left in the dark. They could be feeling unsure about how you feel about them as well, Taurus. But rest assured that, you know, they're not happy, right? The, fi the, the sun in reverse... The Five of Pentacles in verse, they're not happy. They're alone, definitely lonesome here, um, isolated and feeling left in the dark without you. And really, um, they're really having a hard time and trying to figure out a way on how to move forward here with the sun in reverse. So let's see what's coming in. Ooh, Ace of Wands wanted to come out, okay? Leo, Sag, Aries. Something here is gonna get up and running or something here that you don't expect, okay? The Ace is a new beginning. Ace is all about, right, quick new beginnings. Um with that wand energy something is happening very very quickly again you're not seeing this i think a lot of you guys are expecting this yeah there's something that is going to restart after an ending the ten of swords in verse after you guys truly let something die and go and i think that's what's necessary in order for something to start on a clean slate taurus that ten of swords whatever you guys gone through someone could have felt betrayed stabbed in the back hit rock bottom i don't know but it is telling me that 
someone may be wanting to come in. It could be a, a Leo, a Sag, an Aries, whoever you're dealing with. Someone may be wanting to come in and take, um, you know, really move things forward. Anything with the wands is someone who's determined. They may be very aggressive, someone who wants to take control. Um, and also, this is someone who's confident. So they're coming to you with a lot of confidence. The Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, a lot of confidence in their abilities to do something. All right, so let's clarify it for you, Taurus. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus is up on Vimeo. I'm going to use my little miniature right away to get you some answers, some additional clarity. All right, let's start off with the current energy, right? There's definitely a need for communication. The challenge is the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's this about? Yeah, I see that you guys are definitely on a break. Someone may be acting single or maybe trying to get their life together with that Nine of Pentacles energy. But the one thing is, and it, it keeps coming out in a reading, your person isn't happy. Ten of Cups in verse. You both may not be happy. Really unfulfilled right now where things stand. And um, again, the Ten of Wands in verse, feeling really burdened, feeling worried about this connection what just came out the king of swords yeah someone wants to speak to you okay someone really has something to say with with regard to the connection and this king of swords you know it's all about truth it could be justice as well it could be dealing with the libra um someone may be really wanting to uh clear the air okay with that king of swords but really about communication getting to the ground of the matter what happened in the past someone had a someone could have walked away and then came back with the eight of cups in verse but the thing is that again there's still some conflict yeah look at that the lover's card came out with the nine of wands so there is a situation here in the past where someone is still wanting to fight for this Taurus. they still believe in it they still care about you and they still think that this connection has what it takes and the lovers is about coming together union right it's about making a decision saying hey we're gonna do this right we're not gonna give up on it that easy and i think that's kind of what happened someone is still connected to this connection very much with the lovers and the eight of cups and they don't want to leave the justice card wanted to come out the emperor and the ace of pentacles damn look at this but this comes after someone's been doing a lot of thinking. Just so you know, with the Hermit, I'm not taking all these cards, but they just wanted to come on out. So with the Justice, balance, okay? Reciprocity, someone wants to make things right, make things more fair. So if something was um, one-sided or someone wasn't reciprocating, this is someone who wants to do things better, right? Wants to bring more balance to the situation here. The Emperor takes control. You know what the Ace of Pentacles is about, something solid, commitment, right? Your person definitely may want a new beginning, wanted to recommit, but I also feel like someone has to do some thinking, the Hermit, right? I need some time and isolation, deep, deep, dark times and isolation here. All right, let's see. What is on your mind, Taurus? Well, commitment, right? Ace of Pentacles, wanting a beginning, but also realizing that time um, you know, you may need, need some time to take a step back, a break. Yeah. It's telling me that with the justice, um, I'm sorry, with the Nine of Cups and the magician in reverse, I feel a lot of you guys, um, you just want to be happy. I do feel like your person, um, they fulfill you in every way possible. But some of you guys, you feel like it's very difficult to make something happen with this person. It's so difficult to get something off the, on the ground or for you guys to get on the same page or something here, I think, though, about time. And I'm, I'm going to keep saying that divine timing or something here, maybe uh, it's not the right time right now with the magician in the verse, but with time, you know, you guys can have this uh, nine of cups together, come back, be fulfilled, and even to have a new beginning, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Yeah, I'm seeing that this break, the separation is very much necessary. That's what I'm seeing. It's necessary. Um, The five of pentacles in verse, your person wants to get out of the cold, that's for sure. Let's see. Why is the five of pentacles here in reverse? The page of wands, they may want to communicate or they're thinking about communicating. But the thing is, is that, look, look at them. They're stuck in their head. They're really having a difficult time, stuck in their head. They're thinking about the downfall of the connection of four of wands in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame, okay, with the 11, 11 card here. Um, but it's also about imbalance within your person's environment and energy. Um, home life, okay, domestic disharmony. They may be feeling really lost without you. Um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is this Knight of Cups in reverse with the Sun, Leo energy? Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo or a Cancer. 
what I'm seeing is that your person is not willing to reach out, though, and tell you that. It's like they want to move forward or they may be trying to see a, a way to how to move forward, but they may not know what path to take just yet. Because this is someone who wants a victory here with you, but something hasn't um, been enlightened to them, right? And that may be why they need some time to go in isolation because they, ha they haven't gotten the clarity just yet. The sun is in reverse and they're, they're holding back, right? The Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, both in reverse. Your person's holding back that they want this new beginning. But that's what's coming in. A new beginning after a true ending. Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Unbelievable. This is unfinished business. The world in reverse with the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, again, inspired to have this new beginning, taking charge, action, being determined. You guys are going to come back together and reunite. Um, I don't know where it's going to go, but it's definitely, there's a lot of great chemistry, a lot of great um, desire to be with each other. And something here just isn't done. This is unfinished business. There's a cycle here that's you're going back to or revisiting with this person after um, a really difficult ending for some of you guys, a Ten of Swords, or this could be your person's energy. I mean, you guys could have gone through this Ten of Swords together, right? It could have been a lot of worries and everything, but definitely some kind of ending here that um, someone does not want. So, Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. Um, quick reading, but um, let me know if this resonates for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. All right, you guys, have a great weekend.